And this clip, you could see if you can figure out why I decided not to play my monk anymore. Because <laughs> it just got deleted. I mean, seriously, just got absolute. Look at that damage. Yeah, the damage is, the damage is in, in, out of control. It's not, trust me. No. Yeah, it's another clip of Commander DoorDash in Altric Valley. In case you're wondering where your DoorDash dude is, he's in Altric Valley. Uh, it's amazing that your food is warm when it shows up because it's usually cold in Altric Valley. But I poly DoorDash and Commander DoorDash is unpolyed by the rogue. We also have a fire mage here. Those polys going out are not his because he's got combustion up and he's going to kill DoorDash in the next 10 minutes. And there's also a hunter, because there always is a hunter, and there's a rogue, and everybody's engaged in Commander DoorDash. Why is this a really dumb, I mean, like, incredibly dumb idea? Because you don't want to engage the mini-bosses in Alteric Valley, because when the Horde back cap, it's the Horde and the mini-boss versus you and your team, and that is a bad formula. That is a recipe for failure. Let's say that again. That is a recipe for failure as I constantly just you think they get the hint like right there right then and there like why is this dude tossing out these polymorphs why is he doing that it's so stupid no it's not stupid it's called being smart because you don't want to engage this guy the rogue has already disappeared so now it's the fire mage and of course there's a hunter I think it's the same hunter that was in the clip in the previous episode where they were engaging mini bosses in Alteric Valley it's just, I don't get it. I don't. You don't want to engage this guy. Now the mage is realizing, maybe I shouldn't fight him because he's got him rooted and I, I poly him. Maybe he gets the message, but no, of course not. He's not going to get the message. And now, <laughs> even, even there's a shaman involved somewhere. He's probably in the tower and he keeps hexing the guy saying, dude, stop engaging the mini boss. Just stop it. So now I'm just gonna watch this moron die, and and so is so is the so is the shaman. Shaman is just not even. So I poly him again. Now he's running away and he's down for the count. Good for you, bro. You deserve that. You deserve that. I think Blizzard planned this. I think they often do plan. Like, how can we screw up Luxley's day? How can we do that? Oh, I have an idea. Somebody raises their hand. Yeah, we could screw up that guy who constantly criticizes our game and makes a lot of sense and supports his hypothesis and his reasoning with something called facts. Yeah, that guy. Let's screw up his day. Let's throw not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. Let's throw six healers into Arathi Basin against his demon hunter. That's an idea, because this Demon Hunter only doesn't even have 25k health, but the Demon Hunter's kind of, like, overpowered, you know, on steroids and stuff, so it doesn't matter. Demon Hunter could take six, hun six healers, right? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Now, I've seen zero, zero draws in something like a Twin Peaks or Warsong Gulch happens a noticeable amount, not all the time, but enough for it to be noticed. But a draw in something like a Rathy Basin makes pretty much no sense. Here we have like two bases definitely cap. Horde have two bases cap, but we're about to cap a third base. And we're only down by five points. So when that third base kicks in, we should have enough to win. I mean, this is my theory because it's something called sense, logic. Oh, now we're only down by three points and we have all three bases on a, on a timer and watch what happens. 1500 to 1499, but it's a draw. Blizzard's math, once again, is wrong. It's wrong, 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 wrong. Definitely wrong. In case you're wondering uh, what people say in a battleground when they know they're about to lose, as you can see, the score is 107 to six. That's the resources we have left. So this is about to end very soon to a theater near you. It's gonna be over uh, five. 107 to 5. We're not even taking anybody out. They're just taking us out. 107 to 4 as we just bleed out our last few resources as more and more players just probably walk into harm's way or basically die. 
So this is some of the craziness that goes on because you know this group is just loserville, okay? And let's see what some of these people are, are saying in BG chat, which of course is very, very informative, very intelligent, and certainly uh, very insightful. Why would anyone have kids in 2020? Uh, now, now I can't quite understand what Hectic's saying, but I love this saying, you're an effing ape saint, whatever that is. Probably had kids before 2020. Shh, let's enjoy the silence as we die. Yeah, I had all my kids in 1985, and they all play Prop Paladins on the server Sourfang. Oh, gee, thanks for the info. Shh, 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 not much longer. In other words, he wants everybody to shut up so he could die in peace. I also didn't bother teaching them to read. Of course, most parents don't teach their kids to read, although some do, but hectic, who knows? He's just a troll. Surprise, it's not Moonguard, everybody. Yeah, well, I'd be fooled if I didn't quite think that this was a moon guard it's all good this paladin uh cruxus is really just having a great time with all this he's like big lol lots of laughs uh or laugh out loud one of the other what does that stand for lots of laughs or laugh out loud anyway crux is just loving hectic and that's the perfect name for this guy because he's such a troll do you think before the gangbang the horde would have the courtesy of giving me a reach around no they didn't sorry to tell you or maybe buying me dinner nah some mage food maybe so let's scroll through and kind of rewind and go back because i missed some of the good stuff here so we're gonna go over some of this anyway uh, learn the game cut cake the fact you can't read one page games should be fun if they are causing you stress blah 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 do something else of course that's true learn the game blah 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 this is absolutely chat is more exciting than pvp that's kind of true sometimes uh now, now they get into the rating thing oh you're 1200 you're 1600 you know of course arena has nothing to do with bgs <laughs> absolutely nothing completely different animal but whatever uh, talking about getting camped, just curious. You guys could kind of like pause this and read some of this golden stuff about raging and calling each other illiterate and, and, and ripping each other's kids and calling them an ape saint, which is a new one. That's a great one. You're an ape saint, whatever that means. Anybody know what an ape saint is? I'm in Eye of the Storm and my pet has a mind of its own on my warlock, even on my hunter. What a surprise. This must be something to do with the pet AI I'm not really sure but I have no idea where my pet is and I'm thinking of dialing 1-800-PET-ACE-VENTURA 1-800-VENTURA uh, just to find my pet some people know that reference some people don't know that reference but it's a great pop reference Ace Ventura of course from the movie uh, in the 90s yes in the 90s most of you probably weren't even born yet but that's a, a classic Jim Carrey Roll. You got to be half drunk to enjoy the movie, but nonetheless, I'm still wondering where my pet is. I know he's alive. <laughs> I just don't know where he is. Maybe he went to a pet convention. Maybe he found a woman and he's, you know, getting his game on or he's getting married or uh, just maybe he found a really good pizza place somewhere in, in Eye of the Storm. I have no idea. I have no idea where he is. I'm trying to find him. He's off on his own. You know, I play all my records back, which I love that quote from the Fell Guards. But there he is. I finally find him. He's stunned all the way over there. <laughs> Somebody actually wasted a stun on him. Like he does so much damage that they have to stun him to stop him. And he's still, he's still just, you're gone. I had enough. We're just going to get rid of you because you're just not listening. <laughs> This is actually one of those smart clips. They do happen once in a while. I decided to go to mid here, being a mid idiot, because nobody's here. Nobody capped this. I'm the only person in the battleground that realizes this, that nobody, absolutely nobody, bothered to cap from the start here mid. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to cap it because nobody capped it. This is what you call awareness. And, and, and it's, it comes with experience, but you just have to have a sense of awareness with what you're doing in BGs. Could be the difference between winning, losing, capping, not capping, taking out a flag carrier, not taking out a flag carrier. But awareness is very, very underrated, very often not talked about, and extraordinarily important in PvP. Once again, the name is Luxley, L-U-X-E-L-E-Y. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Click a like on the video to help out the channel. It's cheaper than Patreon. And I'm going to leave you with this final thought, whatever it is by you, whether it's morning or it's afternoon or it is nighttime like it is here. Make it epic your day.